Hey guys, Oliver Manley's here, the Breakthrough Coach. Hope you're doing well. I'm over here wearing my Journey to Get Fit shirt. Big shout out to Journey to Get Fit with my good buddy Vedran. Check him out if you want to get healthy, lose weight. Check out his book on Amazon. And so today it is Friday. It's Friday night and I feel alright. Okay, that's enough. Um, it's Friday and this video is for all my single brothers. All the dudes who are looking for ladies. And the reason I want to make a shout out to you is because I know what it's like, man. I was single or abstinence for five, six years of my life, of my 20s. It's absolutely nuts, okay? And the reason why I want to talk to you is because being single is a massive, massive opportunity. And even if you, maybe your end goal is to find the woman of your dreams, the woman of your life. You know, if you want a queen, you have to become a king. All right, am I right? If you want a queen, you gotta become a king. So how do you do that? If you are tr trying to find yourself in the woman, if you are trying to, you know, you want your emotional stability or your certainty in yourself, your confidence in yourself to come from your woman, you are in the wrong direction, guys. You are in the absolute wrong direction. So when I was single, the reason I was single for so long is because I knew that I had a ton of work to do. I was shattered into a million pieces. I was heartbroken and I didn't trust another woman for so long. It was hard for me to open up to let somebody in or to even open up and give myself fully to somebody else. That was a super, super hard challenge, okay? And I realized that if I wanted to get into a relationship in the future, it's gonna be my responsibility to do my work because I don't wanna repeat any of these negative dysfunctional behaviors in a relationship because I found myself self-sabotaging relationships. So as things would be going great in a connection with a girl or a woman, then I would self-sabotage and boom, destroy the relationship, destroy any opportunity. Or I would just cut it off right from the beginning. I wouldn't even let, let the possibility happen. I, want to, I was subconsciously making sure that I would never, ever get hurt again. And maybe you relate to this. So I knew that there was something going on at a deeper level and doing a lot of self-work, working with coaches, doing retreats and workshops on this, I realized that I have a lot of emotional issues that I need to work on. And when I was able to do this work, I uncovered it, I took apart all of these issues, became more aware of it so that I can make new choices, develop new practices for my life so that I could be, so that I could open myself up, give myself fully to somebody and receive love compassion, warmth, affection from a woman. And it took me a long time. So if this is what you want, this is something that you're interested in, then just be honest with yourself that this is actually what you want, that you want to delve into self-knowledge, that you want to build a relationship with yourself. Because I believe that happy is the new hot. Happy is the new hot. If you want to attract a mate, you got to be confident and independently happy, comfortable in your own skin, going after your purpose. And I think that is the most attractive thing, you know? And I, th I think most women believe that is one of the most attractive thing, is a guy with an authentic smile, right? So if that's what you want, then be honest with yourself and let's dig in. But if what you want is short-term recreational, then also be honest with yourself because if you're going after short-term recreational, woman, 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 just one after another, then just be honest with yourself that, that finding the one is not what you want. Emotional stability is not what you want. Just be truthful to yourself. Do not buy into your own delusion thinking that you're, that you're going through all these women to find the one because it's, that's, that's literally not how it works. You don't find your queen in a bar or a club. At least, at least I, don't think, I don't think so. I've never seen it happen myself. Tell me if I'm wrong. Let me know. So here are the things that I would say. It's Friday night, you're dateless, you're single, awesome opportunity, perfect. Tonight, or maybe next Friday, book a date with yourself, solo date. So I remember this first solo date that I had and I was having a fancy dinner, I had a glass of wine, had an amazing meal, time by myself, but so uncomfortable, so awkward. I felt like everyone was looking at me, staring at me, and I'm just like, oh, what are people thinking? Who's this guy eating by himself? 
it is one of the hardest things when you are constantly dependent on other people or entertained and entertaining other people or just you get your energy from others it's really hard to be by by yourself and then imagine going into the movies i went to a movie with popcorn and my drink and thinking like i hope i don't see anybody who knows me i don't want them to know that i'm on this you know i'm watching this romantic comedy by myself like what a loser right and i was just super scared but as soon as i got to settle in and the movie started i was just like i cannot watch a movie in any other way now like i so enjoy spending time with myself and getting into that mode it takes a it takes a long time so i would say solo date date yourself spend time with yourself learn how to be with yourself try it you know when, when you're alone you start listening to your inner voice you realize what that what that anxiety is what that fear is and instead of distracting ourselves and stuffing it down you actually feel it face with face it and then deal it deal with it so the second thing that i would say is to take care of yourself man Take care of yourself. If you got some excess body fat, if you can't even touch your toes, if you can't even walk up a flight of stairs without catching your breath, then take care of yourself. Get physical, man. Get, you know, exercise is, is going to be the number one thing for you. you. You feel stronger. It shows up physically. Your clothes start to feel so much better and your eyes are super clear when you start eating better your skin starts clearing up you, you actually start to glow and do, do you not think that that's hot like that that is so fucking attractive okay so take care of yourself the more stronger you are physically the more stronger and clear you are mentally the next thing i would say is really connect with your purpose and you don't i don't think anyone has one purpose or one passion in their lives but you can always become purposeful you can always be passionate so get good at something find something get good at it if you don't know what your purpose is start working on finding the direction of your passion start finding out what you're naturally curious about and interested in just like my coach says in the absence of clarity take action action is the most important thing take action get good at something you'll start to realize holy shit, I'm really good at this one thing, this one task, this one job, right? So if, if it's, you know, uh, business or entrepreneurship or sales or art or writing, whatever it is, you need to find what it is because nothing is sexier to a woman or even for your own self-confidence than knowing that this is what I'm here for. This is my gift to the world. This is my authentic self-expression. So after five years of being abstinent, of being womanless, of turning down opportunities with women, and always self-sabotaging, I finally am with the woman of my life, the woman of my dreams, Janet. And with her, we were both on our own individual path. We've known each other for many, many years. And we both were growing and investing in ourselves, transforming ourselves, doing personal growth, really getting into yoga, becoming yoga teachers. And we were becoming more and more focused in self-love, knowing ourselves and loving ourselves and building this relationship with ourselves instead of depending on the external. And what's so crazy is that as we were both on this individual journey, suddenly this person who's been my best friend for so many years, boom, like I actually... I fall in love, like head over heels, like just absolutely knock you off your feet, okay? And the type of connection that we have because we've, we respect each other's space, we accept the idea that our own individual happiness is important, that our own individual visions are so, it is the primary purpose that we lift each other up, that we support each other, is absolutely phenomenal. The way we communicate and challenge each other in our goals is, is incredible. The level of vulnerability, the way we open up to each other and just tell us the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it is or how hard it is, we talk about it, we communicate with it. And now it's not completely perfect, but this is the best scenario that I've ever experienced. I, and I have no other ways to compare it. We respect each other, we've never yelled at each other. And I think this is the kind of, you know, this is the relationship where I feel like I've become the king to deserve my queen. Okay, and when you find that kind of connection, it is invaluable. Like it is, you can't even imagine it. Okay, so I believe if she didn't and I didn't invest in our own self-growth, in our own self-love, if we didn't develop this and we were constantly just 
finding a mate after a mate after a mate and just trying to find ourselves in somebody else. And, you know, my other, my other coach, Hans Phillips, he says, quit using others to avoid yourself. Are you using other people to avoid yourself right now? You know, maybe you're, like, you're financially dependent still. You need to start finding ways to become more independent. How are you going to find your purpose? How are you going to know who you are until you're actually free to do what you want to do when you are a free agent, exercising your free choice in your own self, in your own life? right? If you're emotionally dependent on other people, right? Your sense of self or your confidence is dependent on situations or external achievements or what your job title is. You have to start realizing that becoming happy is the most attractive thing, okay? So those are the main things that I would say. If you, if you delve into this, I promise you, I guarantee you, you're, there's going to be a level of certitude, a level of happiness, a level of enlightenment that you have never experienced in your entire life. I challenge every single one of you boys who want to become men. I challenge every one of you single guys who want to become a king so you deserve your queen. Do this and amazing things are going to happen. Done.